Hi, I'm Margaret Reed McDonald. I'm going to tell you a story told to me by Vi Hilbert, an Upper Skagit elder. She speaks the Lachutzi language. The story is from Washington State, where she lives. It's called Little Basket Weaver. This girl had trouble thinking. It was really hard for her to figure things out. She, she couldn't understand things, and the other girls wouldn't play with her. One day she was sitting all by herself under the cedar tree, and the tree bent over and spoke to her. Girl, why are you all by yourself? Why aren't you playing with the other children? They don't like to play with me, she said. I can't understand their games. It's hard for me to understand things they're doing. Oh, said the tree, that's really too bad. I have an idea. Would you like to learn to make a cedar bark basket? I could teach you how. No, I couldn't do something like that, said the girl. I can't understand directions for things like that. Oh, the tree said, I could teach you. I could teach you. Just do everything I tell you and you can make the basket. No, said the girl, I know I can't do it. I can't understand things well. The tree said, girl, could you try? Well, I guess I could try. Good, said the tree, that's all we need. And the tree told her everything to do. How to take the roots and prepare them. How to take bark from the cedar tree and prepare it. And how to weave. And she wove and she wove and she wove and she wove a cedar bark basket. All right, said the tree, that looks good. Go to the river and bring me some water. And she went to the stream and she dipped and she brought it up and it was very light and she carried it back and showed it to the tree. Well, the water had all run out. Girl said the tree, you didn't weave it tight enough. Can you do it again? 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 I guess so. And she went and she took more roots and prepared them, took more bark from the cedar tree, and she prepared it. And she wove and she wove and she wove and she wove another cedar basket. Okay, said the tree, that looks good. Go bring me some water. She went to the stream and dipped, and it was heavier this time, and she carried it back, and she held it up, and it was half full of water. Well, said the tree, that's better, but it's not right yet. Can you do it again? Do it again? Do it again. I guess I can. She went and took more roots and fixed them and took more bark and fixed the bark and she wove and she wove and she wove and she wove and she wove. And, she wove. and this time she wove it very tightly. Well, she said, it looks better, said the tree. Now go bring me some water. And she went and she dipped the water and it was heavier and she brought it back and she held it up. It was full to the brim with water. Yes, said the tree, you've done it. You've woven a perfect cedar bark basket. Now, now what should you do? I think I should make more baskets and give them to all the elders. Yes, said the tree, that's a good thing to do, but think carefully. Is there anything else you should do now that you know how to weave a cedar bark basket? I think I should teach. I should teach all the girls and all the women how to weave a cedar basket. Yes, said the tree, that is what you should do. And that's what she did. And today, because of that one girl, all the women and all the girls in the Klickitat people know how to weave beautiful cedar baskets. If you'd like to read the story and learn to tell it yourself, look in a book called Teaching with Story, Classrooms, Connections to Storytelling by myself, Jennifer McDonald Whitman, and Nathaniel Whitman. It'll be in your library.